so 2016 is coming to an end in a few days. And I gotta say, it's been a really strange, really weird year. But there's been a lot of good music that's come out this year. So here's my list of my favorite releases for the year. And obviously, I didn't get to listen to every single release that's come out this year. So this is just a, just a grouping of releases that really stuck with me throughout the year. And they aren't really ranked at all, except for the top three. And so, again, these are just my personal picks. They might be different than yours, and that's okay. So here we go. So right off the bat, we have Vile Child by Milk Teeth. And I gotta say, this band just completely blew me out of the water the first time I heard them. Just a really good mix of punk and grunge. Basically, I think the Pixies mixed with Nirvana mixed with a really early, like, 80s thrash punk band. They're just all over the place. Great songwriting, just great riffs, everything. Light We Made by Bounce and Composure. This is their third studio album, and their first two have a very distinct sound that really separates them from other bands in their genre. But for this album, they really went out of their comfort zone and just made something completely different, and it really works. And I gotta say, this was a completely unexpected turn of events, but this album just worked so well. And next up, we have the self-titled album from Darkness Divided. And this is a band that has a really good, just straightforward metalcore sound. But between different songs, they'll change it up every so often that just makes it fresh between song after song. Along the Shadow by Seosin. I'm really glad to see that this band is back together, and I have to say that this is the best album that they have made to date. Home Sweet Home by The Optimist. So this is pretty much a melodic hardcore to a T. You get really chuggy guitars, huge breakdowns, all the songs are super powerful. The mix in this is really great too. These are all just really songs that are very energetic, very in your face. Woman by Justice. I gotta say that I love, love this band. But this album particularly took me about three or four listens in full before I guess I got it. It's such a huge departure from their first album and even a big departure from their last one as well. But once I really listened to it over and over and these like songs are so catchy, so hooky, so groovy with these really great synths, these really amazing guitar solos as well. It's just so good. Ology by Gallant. This album is fantastic. R&B, soul, it's just got so much groove and these songs have so much life to them that they really captivate you. And then Gallant's voice too is in, like just a, the voice of an angel. Like no lie at all. His voice is the star of this show. And you find yourself really just grooving along to it and trying, trying to reach this high octaves that he does that just doesn't sound good when you do it personally. Uh, but this album is fantastic. Low Teens by Every Time I Die. This band is just crazy, all over the place, and it's so good. If you didn't like Every Time I Die before this album, you will not like this album at all. But all these songs are so gripping, they get you by the face, but they like, they grab you by the face, and then they just do not let you go until the album's over. And then you just want more. Promise Everything by Basement. How have I never heard of this band before this album? This album itself just I had it on repeat for about a month straight, I swear. And then I listened to their past two albums as well. So good! I just cannot believe that it took me until this album to actually hear of this band. Culture Scars by Hail the Sun. This is a really great addition to Hail the Sun's discography, where they keep true to their swancore. Yes, I did say swancore, Google it. Root, but also they add and really branch out with this album as well. They're really good at having organized chaos in most songs, but then at the same time, they're really able to slow it down and much and have a much more melodic feel to more songs as well. The Realist Alpha and Omega by Mountain Kid. So basically think of Circus Survive and Thrice had a baby and he throw in a little bit of sugar, spice, and everything nice. And that's basically Mountain Kid's sound. They have a really unique approach to a different mix of genres and just there's a lot of great riffs, really amazing harmonies in this release that just make it stand out. Kabuku EP by Tricot. So this is an all-female Japanese math rock trio that are just such all skilled musicians that just it's mind-blowing. I was introduced to them earlier offhanded and then they released this this year and it's just so good. I'm usually not a math rock fan just because it's usually so complicated, so progressive. It's just not usually my field. 
but they're so good at reeling you in and just showing you this beautiful, beautiful music, especially between just the intricate rhythm, the intricate just guitar parts, and then also the harmonies and everything on top of it as well. It's just such a solid release. Endless Light by Oh Brother. This is the third full-length album from this band, and they just never disappoint me. They're essentially just a giant wall of fuzz and just really great songwriting just thrown right at you. 24K Magic by Bruno Mars. It's groovy, it's funky, it puts a smile on your face the entire time. It's just an overall great sound and a great album. Death of a Bachelor by Panic at the Disco. I've never really been a huge fan of Panic at the Disco and then I heard this album and I'm in love now. And then I listened to the album before this and that one is also really good. Who would have ever thought that I would like Panic at the Disco now? I'm Alone, No You're Not by Joseph. Each song on this album has so much emotion packed into it and the songwriting is this great blend of Indian folk that's just so emotional that really grabs you, especially with the beautiful three-part harmonies that these sisters do. It's just such a great and gripping album from beginning to end. Gore by Deftones. And if you've ever listened to this band before, you know Deftones have a very distinctive sound. And Chino, the vocalist, has a side project called Crosses and Team Sleep. And it kind of seems like with this one, they mixed all three of those together and it made one album. But it works so well. You wouldn't believe what privilege costs by Civilian. Basically think Death Cab for Cutie meets Colony House. A really good mashup of indie rock and alternative where it's just usually easy going, pretty great, just ride along songs. But it isn't afraid to throw in some really great riffs and heavier spots in them as well. Thread Spinner by A Brilliant Lie. Now my band got to go on tour with this group earlier this year and I gotta say they are such great people making such fantastic music and then just this release really puts that all into perspective, all in one. It's basically I think progressive meets pop meets alternative. Basically Coheed and Cambria mixed with a little bit of Circus Survive mixed with Paramore thrown in there too. Coloring Book by Chance the Rapper. Now this is his first studio album and it does not disappoint at all. He does a really great job of making sure that you know it's not just hip hop because he mixes so many other genres with so many other guest vocalists, guest musicians on there as well. It's just such a great experience of an album. The Void of Fulfilled By by In Cycles and Circles. Now this band does a great job of keeping the listener engaged by not just sticking to one genre the entire time. They'll change it up from song to song and sometimes within the song as well. That's just really refreshing. And then also they have some of the most nasty and just ruthless breakdowns I've heard all year. So none of those albums are particularly ranked. They're just releases that I really enjoyed this year and that really stuck with me throughout the year. But these are my top three. Number three is Everything Was Sound by Silent Planet. Now this band's release before this Native Blood was really good and I liked it. But this album just completely engulfed me the second I started listening to it. They're just such masterful musicians that really just do such a great job of mixing post-metal with metalcore with something that just they're able to make this music, this sound their own and then you just add these beautiful deep emotional lyrics on top of that that just it's such an emotional roller coaster for you the entire time and just it's such a beautiful album through and through. Number two is To Be Everywhere is To Be Nowhere by Thrice and Thrice is one of my all-time favorite bands. Hell, I remember listening to Artists in the Ambulance for the first time in seventh grade and it was so different than anything I was listening to up to that point and so I was very upset whenever they went on a hiatus because Thrice has never been a band afraid to progress and try something new from each album to album. It just always was something different with them that worked very well. But with this album, they came back with, I guess, just a much more mature and a much more different outlook because this is so different than what they've made before, but it's so much of the same too because it just, they did such a great job of mixing new with old and they just came in with a vengeance and this is the best album that they have ever made. It is just so great to see these guys back at it again. And my personal favorite release of this year is Home of the Strange by Young the Giant. And now this band has been a lot to me over the past couple years. Their first release is really great, but their follow up to that Mind Over Matter was a complete game changer for me. It was an album that I listened to about like three or four months in a row. And I got to know each song individually. I learned like every single word of each song as well. And then when Home of the Strange came out, it was just 
so captivated, it's so gripping that it's just so emotionally charged to me and that it was very just inspiring. Just not just as a musician, but to me as a person, just every single song on this album from front to back is just so well crafted and just so well made. I just cannot get over how, at least to me, how perfect this album is. So those are my favorite releases that came out in 2016. Again, it's been a great year for music and while it has been a really strange and off-putting weird year, I've had so much love and support coming to the channel from all over the world and guys, I honestly, seriously cannot thank each of you enough for just liking, subscribing, and showing your friends and all that. I just appreciate it so much. Thank you for just sticking around with me this year and I hope to make next year even better. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Well, I'll see y'all next year. Take it easy.